You're checking in with meteorologist Mario Ruiz, and of course, we're checking in on this winter weather warning now that yes. was upgraded this morning, and it lasts until Wednesday at 6 a.m. That's quite some time. That is quite some time, and we may even see it extended in time. Oh, wow. We're just going to see how the next couple of days play play out. Uh, but yeah, that winter storm warning went into place at 6 this morning versus noon today was what the original plan was because we started seeing impacts early. Mm -hmm. uh, let's go ahead and take a look at where that warning lies. Lies, uh, in the cross North Texas uh, and this is again for accumulations that will be significant at over a tenth of an inch doesn't sound like a lab but when you're talking about ice it certainly is uh, and here's a look at how radar is shaping up the purple that you see is sleet that's what looks like ice and it falls hits the ground bounces off the pink that you see is freezing rain and that's when it looks like rain until it touches a surface freezes on contact because temperatures are below 30 32 degrees and what you see the green that is cold rain that's more so south of Tyler uh, and southeast well southeast of the Metroplex zooming in across Dallas Fort Worth you can see a little bit of that freezing rain now along 820 there western Tarrant County uh, and seeing a little bit of lightning now south of Hazel uh, north and to the east of Weatherford. Uh, this is something that we could also see today is the potential for some lightning. We're seeing some of that freezing rain extending across the Denton and Collin County line, south and north of Frisco uh, and north of Louisville, closer towards Little Elm, the colony, seeing a few very, very light doses of that. And we did see a little bit of sleet in Mineral Wells. That looks like it has pushed off to the east in the form of freezing rain. We may continue to see these transitions back and forth. Uh, it all depends on the temperature. Now, Wichita Falls, Archer City, pretty consistently seeing sleet the last couple of hours in and around the Gainesville area. We saw reports within the last hour of sleet. Uh, and that's just north along I-35 there. Seeing the freezing rain to cold rain transition uh, just south of Athens, uh, closer to Palestine, we're going to continue to see a lot of this activity here, really the remainder of the day and into tomorrow. This is Monday afternoon showing you how that coverage is going to stay relatively light compared to the next couple of days. We'll continue to see some on and off rounds of very light freezing rain drizzle in the area. This is now Monday 7. We start to see it kind of tapered off. We may see a lull in this activity as we head towards the evening hours. And then tonight we're going to see this widespread more towards the south by Tuesday morning. I think we'll see better coverage of this with the highest area of impact across Dallas, Fort Worth, south to Cleburne, Hillsboro, north to Gainesville and across our western counties as well. And this is what this will look like. This is uh, going to take you Tuesday 7 in the morning now widespread across some areas south of Interstate 20. The coverage is going to be higher tomorrow and we're going to see it more consistent throughout the morning. We're going to see a very fine line where it transitions from freezing rain to cold rain. This will happen around noon on Tuesday. You can see it there. Greenville, maybe Kaufman County towards the north and east seeing some of that cold rain. Uh, but then we're going to notice that this transition to freezing rain really stays across Dallas Fort Worth a good portion of the day Tuesday, Tuesday night and into Wednesday. Tuesday night into Wednesday, we continue to see the same thing. Uh, rounds of freezing rain, hopefully sleet. I'm saying hopefully because sleet will bounce off of the ground versus freezing rain that will stick. Uh, and while both are dangerous, the freezing rain is more slick. Uh, it's it's more of a glaze on our roadways. So this is Wednesday as we approach very early morning. We can see still widespread freezing rain across the area. This is just something that we'll have to be watching closely. Wednesday afternoon into uh, Thursday, we're going to see temperatures finally climb above freezing, at least hopefully, and that's what's going to give us a break. But then we still continue to see some rain. By the time it's all said and done, a tenth to half of an inch of accumulation of ice will be possible for us, which would cause significant travel impacts. The temperature today of 30 one degrees. Uh, we may climb above freezing briefly Tuesday afternoon and Wednesday afternoon before we finally climb above freezing Thursday, Friday and over the weekend. We'll be back.